An hour before Trump arrived at the Republican rally in Charlotte, North Carolina, the crowd was already chanting against CNN, the television network targeted by a Florida man, a Trump supporter who tried to send more than a dozen pipe bombs in the mail this week to the president's critics. Trump began his speech by condemning the attack. Political violence must never, ever be allowed in America, and I will do everything in my power to stop it. In recent days, we've had a broader conversation about the tone and civility of our national dialogue. Everyone will benefit if we can end the politics of personal destruction. But then he returned to criticizing the media. The media's constant unfair coverage, deep hostility, and negative attacks, you know that, only serve to drive people apart and to undermine healthy debate. Trump has been crisscrossing the country to support Republican candidates ahead of the midterm elections. In two weeks, Americans will decide which party controls Congress. With that at stake, former U.S. President Barack Obama also held a rally Friday to campaign for Wisconsin Democrats. Whatever your political background, I'm hoping you think it's wrong to hear people spend years, months, vilifying people, questioning their patriotism, calling them enemies of the people. And then suddenly, you're concerned about civility. Obama was another intended recipient of the pipe bombs. He made no mention of it in his remarks. But Terrence Roming, a Wisconsin voter who waited in line to see the former president, says Trump is partly to blame for the violence. I think Trump set this whole thing up with this, his crazy talk is it enabled other crazy people to, to do things. As the dueling rallies from presidents present and past unfolded Friday, both men sharply diverged on immigration, taxes, and health care. They laid out competing visions of America, but agreed on one thing. This election, both claimed, will be the most important one in a lifetime. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera, Milwaukee, Wisconsin.